VR Trooper Volume 1 Ryan and his friends are being pursued by one of Grimlord's monsters, which is a mix of alligator and robot. But this time, Ryan finds a data crystal that contains geographic information about the virtual world. They reach a reality barrier that is a portal to return to the real world and exit the virtual reality. They try to elude the interrogator, who is the monster chasing them, and whose job is to interrogate the troopers. But not only the troopers pass through the portal, the interrogator also goes through. This causes the troopers to be teleported outside the laboratory, where they usually return from their missions. Professor Hart is happy that they brought the locator crystal and immediately starts deciphering its data. However, Ryan has to go to a karate tournament tonight. Ryan is not upset about the situation because ever since his father was kidnapped, Tao, the owner of the dojo where he trains, has been like a father to him, and he knows that Tao needs his help to keep the karate dojo running. Later, a father and son are exploring the mountains and hear an explosion. However, the father receives a call from work, as his boss needs him to do something immediately and to forget about their family gathering. Near them, the interrogator has arrived in the real world, and not to look bad in front of his boss, decides to kidnap the boy's father so that he doesn't return empty-handed. In the laboratory, the professor notices another reality alert. He thinks it's because the troopers landed outside the laboratory, but it's actually because of the interrogator. He contacts Ryan to retrieve the boy who fainted due to the incident. In the laboratory, the boy named Jeffrey tries to explain that his father has been kidnapped, but Ryan already knows that and immediately goes to the virtual world to rescue the boy's father. However, Jeffrey clings to Ryan so as not to be left behind. Ryan realizes that the boy has come along and tries to take him back, but the boy doesn't want to because he needs to rescue his father and accuses Ryan of not understanding what it's like to need a father since he's already an adult. But we know that's not true because Ryan deeply misses his father. And hey, there's no time for sentimentality as the interrogator is already after them. Ryan and the interrogator fight. The interrogator wants to know where Ryan has hidden the rare crystal with the data, and after that, he wants to eat Ryan with marinara sauce. The interrogator takes advantage of Ryan's knowledge that troopers don't use their weapons unless the opponent does so first. That's why he believes he will win, since it's a battle of claws against hands. But Ryan uses a karate move to knock the villain down the cliff. During the few minutes it takes for him to climb back up the cliff, Ryan hurries and calls his motorcycle. Jeffrey asks if there's a phone on the motorcycle, because since his father was carrying a cell phone with him, it means they can call his number and find out where he is. Considering that the story takes place in the 90s when few people had cell phones, the boy was pretty clever. Ryan asks the professor to call the boy's cell phone number to triangulate his father's location, since at that time cell phones didn't have GPS locators and the professor explains exactly that to him. That the Earth's phones, at that time, don't have coordinates to directly connect to the virtual world. However, Ryan asks to use the data from the crystal and upload it to the phone network to find the boy's father. But the data from the crystal can only be accessed once. If they do that, they won't be able to use the data again to locate Ryan's father. Ryan says not to worry about him, but about the boy's father. But the interrogator is after them again. The professor completes the upload and gets the coordinates to find the boy's father. He instructs the motorcycle to go to the location on autopilot while Ryan fights the interrogator. Then they arrive at a factory-like place with robots on fire. The boy's father is being held in the factory by a robot. To defeat the interrogator, Ryan uses a maneuver with the flying motorcycle, causing the villain to crash to the ground. Father and son are reunited. On the way back to the real world, the father confesses that he was scared of dying there and realized that what matters most in life is family. Seeing this scene, Ryan reflects on himself and wonders how it would be if he could meet his father again, just like he does in every single episode of the series.